Hey friends, welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we're going to talk about zone cleaning. So um, my good friend Anika, she asked me to go into a little more detail about zone cleaning. Um, I have some different sizes here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the insert that we're going to be referencing, referencing <laughs> today. Uh, let me go. So this is it. This is my personal um, Motown planner. This is where I keep it and I keep it in my home section. So what I did after I got, you know, a couple of requests about the zone cleaning, um, one, I decided to make this video. Two, I decided we need some more different sizes. And I thought I had put them in my Etsy shop, but I hadn't. So this size here is for the mini HP. And that's something else I kind of like to do is to print stuff first before I offer it. And I think I may have been trying to tweak that. I don't know why I didn't put it in there. I thought I did, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna stick it in here just randomly so you all can see. So this fits the mini HP. This size here is pocket. I don't own a pocket. I do have a pocket um, TN, but I don't have it in front of me. Let me see if I can find my passport TN. Here's my passport TN. Um, I'm just looking to see if it'll fit. So it should fit your TN, okay, your uh, pocket, I'm sorry. So now we've gotten that out the way. Oh, one more thing. Um, I decided, like, once I go into detail, my zones may not be your zones. Um, you can use my zones as a guideline. I do have them print, you know, they're printables in my shop. But I decided you may want to add your own stuff because everyone's house is set up differently. So what zone cleaning is, and I got this from the Fly Lady system. I use the Fly Lady system off and on. Um, I've added it, added it to my cleaning routine, some of her ways. I've kind of made it work for me the first time I tried it. Um, I'm not going to say it didn't work for me, but I just wasn't consistent. I'm still doing it, and I'm really still not consistent. So the zone cleaning inserts kind of helped me to be a little more consistent and like in writing it out and seeing it. Um, also, so what I did here was left it open in case your house is designed differently and you may not have a front porch, you may not have a front area. Like I have a front porch, um, I have a, a foyer area, but that is included somewhere else. I like kind of grouped them together the way my house is um, done. And like I didn't include on mine, I didn't include the front porch and the um, foyer area because to me that's where I hit my two minute hot spots. Those are like my two minute hot spots or a 15 minute tidy. So I just didn't feel the need to like put that in zone cleaning. So what zone cleaning is? Zone cleaning is taking a house, dividing it into five different zones. And it's basically a decluttering process. For a lot of people, um, cleaning can become overwhelming. You may spend days, hours cleaning. I know growing up, Every Saturday, we cleaned. We got about two cartoons in, a bowl of cereal, and then it was cleaning for hours until we could go outside. So we would try to rush the process so we could clean outside, but I mean, go outside. But then during um, the middle of the week, we would just pick up behind ourselves and tidy. So it's kind of the same thing. But with this system of zone cleaning, you're only going to spend one week in one zone. At first, I would put a different zone a day and spend 15 to 30 minutes in that zone. And the thing with this zone cleaning is that you don't wanna go over the time that you have allotted, allotted yourself. Because what happens is, and that's what I like about the Fly Lady um, system is that I would just take a day and clean. And then I'll be so done that I'm like, oh, it looks nice. I don't want anybody to touch anything. Like if somebody would, it would just put me on edge. Like if somebody touched something, I'll just clean like I'd like, oh. I have an attitude and then I would just feel like, okay, I'm tired of cleaning. I clean, nobody picks up behind themselves. But with the zone cleaning and the fly lady system, it allows you to just spend 15 to 30 minutes in that zone and you have the whole week to do it. So let's say for here, my zone one is my kitchen. 
which I stay in the most. So I'm always on zone one, always. <laughs> I stay in zone one, always. So for what I have for zone one is the kitchen. So I have the fridge, dishes, sweet mop, countertops, cabinets, and table. And so this is also your chance to kind of declutter. So let's say it's May 1st. Uh, let's see, what would be the third would be, no, the fourth would be Monday. So let's say I want to start zone one on Monday. I would just take 30 minutes a day. You can even go up to an hour if you have an hour to give. But generally, it's supposed to be for 15 to 30 minutes. Sometimes I do an hour um, because I know I'll go over it. But just spend 15 to 30 minutes doing these things. And it's kind of like a, not a race the clock, but kind of see how fast, what you can get done in that 15 to 30 minute time period. And you set your timer. And so you go in your kitchen and you may clean out your fridge you know, clean up all the dishes, sweep mop right down your countertops, cabinets and tables. And to me, this is something that is done quickly. The only thing I didn't add on here is pantry because pantry is one of those things that I do every few months. So it's not on a, you know, a zone basis. Like I'll take everything out and KonMari method that. So that's the reason why I didn't add that to zone one. So your first week of May, you're going to stay in zone one. You're only going to spend 15 to 30 minutes. Now, if you find that on day one, you were able to get all this done, you know, decluttering out of your kitchen, like, okay, let me give you another example. So let's say my kids, like, we're not a big cereal eaters around here. We've become cereal eaters because, you know, everyone's been home. So in the past, I used to buy cereal and it would just go to waste and it would just go on top of the refrigerator in a basket and once we start eating cereal again i realized some of that cereal had been there for like a year okay or two and it was time to like throw it out so what you would do in zone one is maybe declutter old cereal maybe clean off the top of your refrigerator the top of your cabinets uh things like that okay so zone two so you'll be done like i said you'll be done probably in a day so you can go on to zone two or you can just save it for next week that way you don't feel overwhelmed you want to declutter and clean your bathrooms this is maybe a deep deep clean for you um i know my mother she was famous for like having us get that i call it the pee pod <laughs> around the base of the toilet and around and you know maybe like some hand um scrubbing you know scrubbing on the floor what i'm trying to say um hand scrubbing pretty much hand scrubbing on the floor where normally you may just do a quick sweep and light mop um, maybe shake your rugs out, things like that. So I have sweep and mop, um, the sink, the mirrors, the toilet. The toilet, of course, as you see, is the first thing. And depending on how many bathrooms you have, so if you, like we have three. And so going to each of those bathrooms, that's what you would do in your 15 to 30 minutes. Let's say your first bathroom takes you that 15 to 30 minutes and you still may not get it clean, it's okay. Stop after that 30 minutes and then the next day within that next week you're still in zone two you're going to go to your next bathroom so some of this may not take a whole week but it just depends on your clutter and you know the level of your home and how big and how small your home is so next i have zone three um which is my office let me see if i can get it because this little tiny one i don't think y'all can see hold on i'm gonna pull this out for reference as well And then, so zone three, we have my office, which is organized inventory, empty trash, clean desk, vacuum, and declutter paper. And so you could change that to something else. You may not have a home office. Um, it may be your computer area. It may be another room. Let's say you may want this to be your foyer area or what have you. And that's what I'm supposed to do in zone three. This would take me all week to do, okay? So zone three, that's what I need. Okay, zone four, um, the den laundry area. So like what I did was because the way my house is designed, my den and laundry is not connected, but they're on the same floor like as my office. My den, we hardly go in there, but the laundry area is the place in my, in my house, to me, that gets kind of neglected. Like we do laundry in there, but nobody takes the time to maybe wipe out the machine after they're done. Um, like the other day, my husband noticed he did a load of laundry and noticed water was sitting in the, I guess, the tub of the thing because we have a newer washer. So we, I guess, didn't know how to use it. So 
now that's something I need to do is run that extra, like empty the extra water out of something. I don't know. Um, but that's what it'll be on my laundry and den area. And then my den, like I said, we hardly are in our den because it is downstairs. And so like lately my son's been in there. Um, we do have our workout equipment in there. So maybe I can go in there and wipe down the equipment or what have you. And then zone five is my dining and living room because they are connected. I put those two together. So again, I have this one where this is what my zones are that is available on my um, Etsy shop. But I also made an empty one for you to fill out your own. So what I've done, I'm thinking maybe I need to add this, but then the price would go up. I don't know. So right now I have the mini HP size in the naked, the blank one. That way you can write your own zones in. So let me see. Let's say zone one, you want to be the front porch. And you know, the front porch, you know, maybe sweet leaves. Um, sweep, rug, wipe, door glass. I mean, it's so much. And you just can put your own zones in there and you can write it in or however you want to do it. I thought about it after I did it. I said, once I do this video, these are gonna be, you know, it may be something that they need to have of their own according to their home, but these are mine. And I decided to do the empty one so that you could, you know, write it in, but you still have this beautiful background that I like. Um, also, I did these task cards and you can do these yourself. Again, the task cards are available in my Amazon um, storefront. And you can just take these half flags. You can actually take a sticky note. Let me see if I got one. So that I can show y'all what you can do. So if you don't have these little cards here, you feel like this side is your um, sticky part. You can just take and write them here and then cut or put your, you know, that's how you can make your own um, task cards. So that's pretty much how zone cleaning works. And that's kind of the breakdown. What I will do, um, so to be a little more helpful for you, like I said, I decided to change this to where you can write your own zones in. That way, um, I'm gonna leave you with a piece of um, information like videos where I kind of get inspiration for from my, um, zone cleaning or my favorite fly lady babies to watch and um, maybe two of them and also the link to the website on zones the fly lady's website on zones um her website used to be a little hard to the fly lady's website used to be a little hard to read and understand because everything was kind of jumbled um i looked on there today it, it was readable for me so it, she may have made some changes but i will leave those links below so I hope this was understandable. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I don't mind sharing and I don't mind helping as much as possible. Like I said, I'm kind of new to the Fly Lady um, zone cleaning myself. I definitely <clears throat> use them and just kind of go over it and do checklists. Like I said, I could spend two weeks in the kitchen, okay? I've been in the kitchen for <laughs> this whole time. It seemed like this as fast as I declutter and clean I'm cleaning up behind people and this works for me because I'm not a neat freak but once I get I'm, I'm I have obsessive behavior so once I get on a cleaning spree I'm just on it and I don't want nobody to touch anything and I'll get frustrated so this worked for me because now I don't get frustrated if somebody leave a glass you know hanging around I just pick it up because I want my house to stay neat I don't get frustrated if somebody drops them on the floor, I just pick it up because I have got to keep it clean. So again, I hope this helps. I hope it wasn't a ramble sesh. I hope it was you know, easy to understand. Again, please don't be afraid to leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And I hope this helps. Oh, also um, right now, I think I only have two sizes in the blank on my website on Etsy so if there's a size that you need and you would like it on the blank version or even the regular printed version please let me know 
and I'd be happy to get that size up for you. I hope you all are doing well during this pandemic. I hope you can get these zones cleaned. I'm really trying to get this done before we go back to work. I want everything to be perfect. So I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.